It's me, Mario! Hello! Okie dokie! Alright, well I haven't played much of KBR, but I guess I could say some things. <laughs> I don't know. Apparently from what I've heard, like, this first course is a little bit harder than most other levels in the early game. Although in this run he's mostly gonna be, well he's gonna only be in the first overworld, because it's just get key one is the objective, essentially. So I guess this has a pretty good atmosphere. You know, you got ghosts all over the place, BBH music, dark background. Although maybe the grass is a little bit too bright of a green. Maybe having that be a bit darker would fit better. Must have intended for that ghost bounce, otherwise there was no way that diver cover was making it to the next platform.
Yeah, I got the first star. Yeah, okay, sure, Sizzling. Yeah, just get in the Discord. Or do you even have any roles that would- yeah, you have a runner role, so you can get in. Can you hear me? Yeah, uh... I think I'll turn you up, though, because the balance probably is better that way. Alright, that's fine. So yeah, you were saying that this first level is a little bit harder than the rest of most of the first overworld, besides maybe some stuff in Course 4 and the Bowser level. But... Yeah, Bowser 1 did seem a lot harder than like the rest of stuff. The reds in there are probably the first actually hard star in this game. So... Well... I wouldn't put it that way, but they're one of the more difficult ones. Oh yeah, Course 4 is like that snowy town level, but that one was yeah. kind of weird. Of course, Bobby. she's also snow, but that, one, that level's better in my opinion. Yeah, Course 4 has like a lot of like really tight long jumps where you just have to go a lot of distance. It also has that lighthouse star with the wall kicks at the end, and that's kind of a little bit annoying, but... So it seems like he's getting a lot of stars in Force 1. Like, maybe 4 or so. Yeah, I don't remember the route for 20, really, at all. So, I know Scuttle did this, like, a long time ago, but other than that... This level has a few really quick stars, too, like the one you just got, and this one right here. And literally, you just come in this tree, and... There you go. This one's also fast. Alright, so that'll be it for course one. He seems to be going to... Probably course two now, if I had to guess. Yeah. Why not the slide? Oh, okay. Oh, I guess he'll do that after all that, because it would be on the way yeah. to the Bowser level. I kind of forget how the yeah, it would. is. <laughs> So like, what levels is he gonna have available to him? Like, one, two, three, slide, like, what else? Four. And then all the ones you listed. And that's pretty much it. I think the slide has a lot of stars, and most of them are pretty fast, so he'll probably get a lot there. It has... It has six, I think. So... That was the quickest star in this level, so... This was one of my favorite courses in the game, personally. 
It was easier than Course 1, and I don't know, I, I just thought it was more fun. Here, we're just climbing up this thing, and you just collect the coins as you go up. Okay, I didn't even know you could get over here like that. That's really cool. Even though we died. You're supposed to use the fly guy and just go over there. I did a quick sand ledge grab because I killed the fly guy not knowing that. But... Oh well. People talk about how Fly Guys broke a lot of this game, which they did, but this is like the one part you're actually supposed to use it, so. And then there's a reason KVR2 doesn't have any. He's got it this time. Yep. Here we go. Commentators. Oh, is it? Like, like, is what I'm saying ahead of what happens? Yeah, it's going to be if you're watching, you should get directly. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I, mean, I thought if I watched. The... If you watch the stream, though. Right, that's what I thought, so. I figured if I watch the SRM channel, then it's just going to be further behind than it would be if further behind than I would be ahead. So now we are actually going to use the fly guy to skip some stuff here. Yeah. 
Will Cave Bear 3 be a thing? Yes. It's not going to be done for a while, though. So. I don't really have an estimate on that at the moment. That's actually a different than sodium. KBR2 took like a year and a month, and it, it came out a year ago, like two weeks, a week and a half from today, or like a year and a week and a half ago is when it came out. It started in like June of 2017 and it came out July 23rd of last year, so that gives you an idea. And so this is course three, it actually, this, I don't remember uh, the name of the person that made this song, but it's not like it's original, like it's not from a different game or anything. The same person made the song in KBR2 Course 8, Impending Catastrophe, and that one is also pretty good. So. Yeah, Crash didn't finish KBR2, he finished this one though. Yeah, no, this is KBR1. This level's pretty cool. It does have some invisible walls, but... I don't know how long it took. It's actually a good question. The star is kind of neat. You have to 
wall kick with some weird angles to be able to get all the way up. Because it keeps changing as you keep going up. Because the walls aren't aligned. You don't have to quick sand ledge grab there, but you did anyway. There is one more quick star in that level, but you need the Vanish Cap, so we can't really do anything with that, because it's an Overworld 2. So he seems to be going to Course 4 next. I go is your least favorite stage in Overworld 1? Uh, well, it was going okay until that. just a shell in that and you just come over here I kind of forgot about this area actually since I didn't like this level that much but the rest of this is pretty easy Sold out, yeah. Alright, so now we're gonna go up the main path of this level. Which is going up this thing and coming up here. There's some invisible walls on this section, so you have to be pretty careful. Or you will get owned. star like that. I always wall kick off the side, I think. Alright, now he's going to the slide. There's a lot of quick stuff in here. This being one of them. There's a single star BLJ you can do directly into this room, but 
it's pretty tricky to do optimally. You backflip ground pounded? Okay. Five fifty is five fifty three the time on that? I didn't even remember. The time limit for this is like twenty four or something around there. I don't remember exactly. You can do the timer glitch though by just standing up here, so it doesn't really matter too much. Did he intend to, like, firsty there, or...? No, you don't have to firsty. Just getting in there, I don't know exactly what the intended way is, but there's ways to do it without firsty. It's just really weird. No, but, like, this particular strategy he's doing. Yeah, to do it this way, I think you might have to get a firsty. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can just, like, double jump an air strain your way down there. You can. This is really awkward, honestly. You obviously can't ground pound that box because from the top because you just down warp. You'd actually soft log because it gets stuck on the animation. And for this last one, we're just going to BLJ over there and skip most of it. This is a really weird jump on that star if you do it the normal way, but we don't have to deal with that. Here we go. And so now that we got 20, we're just going to go to the Bowser course, and then as soon as he gets the key, that's when the category ends. So one fun fact about this level is that the Bowser fight is just unchanged vanilla Bowser, but if you die in it, you actually spawn at the very bottom of this stage on the lava and you die, and you have to climb all the way back up there again. And this thing we're about to go on is, it's like a 8-bit Bowser kind of thing. It's actually pretty cool. There's a star hidden on it down below, but we don't need to get that. I 
And then this part is super awkward. And the clown car collision is kind of weird. He absolutely nailed it though. Morning Katsu. Yeah, this is just unchanged, so not much to see here. What even was estimate? An hour? Yeah. So... You can stop the timer, by the way. Yeah, okay. 31.19. So we have an extra, like, 29 minutes or whatever. Let's see. What was supposed to be... Where's the break dance? <laughs> uh, Mario Adventure. There's a one-up in this overworld that you can collect, but you can't collect it without dying, so 